We are back with another Heartstopper reaction. The first two episodes, you know, there was tension, there was some butterflies, there was electricity. Listen, Charlie has found love in a hopeless place, okay? And we got Nick over there, you know, trying to find out why he's like this. <laughs> Dirty with that song. Um, I tell you, Nick, just keep it off Google because you're going to go down that path of Google. You do not want to go down that path. I'm telling you now, um, you know, we got Higgs and we got Truem. Uh, you know, I, I know that's going to be some crossover between the schools apart from, you know, L and, and there's a lot going on there. I love the friend group. I love the energy. Um, I think there's more to come in terms of the characters. And, uh, you know, we got Ben. <laughs> who's causing trouble. I know there's going to be more from Ben coming up soon. I'm sure of it. I know Ben is going to come in and be like, excuse you, Charlie. <laughs> oh my God. I'm loving this show. I think it's such a good time. Um, I know there have been some, you know, some sad moments already a little bit, but I think I feel like there's more to come. I think that's what this show is sort of that's the uh, the energy I'm getting from this show. There's going to be ups and downs in terms of the characters. Uh, but uh, please, please, do not stop our hearts. I'm telling you. <laughs> well, the full length reaction uh, will be on the Patreon as, as well as bonus content. Uh, please support the Patreon if you can. Much appreciated. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, hit the notification bell, do all the good stuff. Well, let's go ahead and watch. Oh, Nick, five signs you might be gay. Buzzfeed, Pr pretty sexy dreams. <laughs> you wonder what the big deal is. He needs someone to talk to. You need to talk to someone, but it's, it's hard, you know? Hey, not handcuffs. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I told you about this, Nick. There's this, the Googles, they will just. Show you everything. To kiss. Oh! 62%! Oh! Yo, he's crying. Eee. 62% is wild though. My 16th birthday party. You're gonna be there. Yeah. Sounds good. You better bring some cool people with you as well. Here we go. You gonna invite me? Amanda. If you're cool enough, apparently. I actually don't know her name. I'm just saying Amanda. Fine. I... I guess I can invite you, Imogen. Imogen. Yeah. Let's stick with Amanda. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> no shade to Imogen. She actually likes him. Imogen. I see you. I, I knew it. I knew it, Imogen. Because she always coming close to Nick. Nick is taken, Imogen. And Nick is going to have pick of two oh. girls. I really know she fancies him. Yeah, what? Oh, uh, um, nothing. We're talking <laughs> about Tara Right beside her. He has two proper fit girls trying to get with him, and he's not even bothered. <laughs> You're not into Imogen, then. Sadly, not your chance with Tara. Oh. Yo, can we leave him alone. Oh, oh, the way they will shoo you in, into a particular lane, they'd be like, this is who you like. It's like, let him like who he wants to like. I think we're centering on Nick here and, and how he's feeling. Um, in this episode. Do you want to go to Harry's party? With me. Oh. Oh. A date? Doesn't really sound like my sort of thing. Please mm. come. Uh, I want you to be there. He needs somebody to be with him at, in that kind okay. of environment. That's, that's what it really is. Someone that lights him up, you know? Ah, uh, Nick. I really feel for Nick. And I think that Charlie doesn't really know fully how Nick is so boxed in in his group, you know? Let's tell the group. I'm screaming. No, you're not screaming right now. <laughs> That's what people always do. They're like, I'm screaming. I can't hear anything. Popular people's party. Oh, what's happening tomorrow? Oh no. Eesh. Oh, classic. Ditching the friends. The day ones. <laughs> Isaac. Isaac. I know his name now. Ah, oh, I mean, it's, it's tough because obviously the friend group should come first. 
But the friend group should also understand that this is huge for Charlie right now. This is big, big deal, you know? He's, he gets to be with Nick. Who's this? His dad? Pick up a 10, okay? Can't it be 11? No. 10's late enough. Let him stay 11. Let him, let him do 11. Is Call he... me if you need me, okay? Mm. I will. Aw, nice. There is some closeness there. There, there, is a, there is, you know? I'll give him 10.30. 10.30. Oh, parties, high school, that age. Oh, Lord. There's just a lot more self-consciousness, you know? Just in general. And I think Charlie really feels that right now. Feels like all eyes are on him, you know? When in reality, they say you should just do what you want to do and be you regardless of the eyes. Mm, Imogen. Come on. She said, I am going to turn heads tonight. Mm? Here we go. Oh my God, imagine if they dance together. Big deal. <laughs> oh, it's been too long, it's my darling. Hi, Dad. <laughs> mom, she's here to see me. Are, are they just very tall, or is they, or are they mom? Thing. Mm, sure. Are you doing my love, all right? Hmm? New school, okay? Mom. Okay, okay. <laughs> yes, Miss Tao. Mrs. Tao. I just wanted it to be like old times. Uh, it's not old times anymore. <laughs> Come on. Sorry, super sick. Uh, even Isaac can't make it. Just oh. us then. Tao is not gonna like that. But I mean, you like Elle, don't you? She dragged my mum to play Mario Kart. Nicola! Here we go. Why are you hanging out on here? It's a bit boring, isn't it? Oh. Tara Jones is it? Hey! <laughs> Yo, Tara is not even interested. Come on, mate. Harry, <laughs> come on. She's just down the corridor. Harry, no one asked you. At least it's good that um, Charlie can see that they're pushing him. It's not Nick. Remember Nick Nelson, right? Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> She's like, okay. Look at Tara. Oh, it, it was still crushing because he's just always going to feel like... He's gone to one of Rich Boy Harry's parties, for God's sake. Last year, he would have rather died than go to one of those. Well, I don't think he's there to see Harry. Right. <laughs> Nick's stolen him. Ooh. He should be here with his actual friends. Well, I think Nick is his friend. Preach. Hell is spitting facts. Not that you're not like, um, you know. It's fine. I, I don't feel that way about you either. <laughs> yeah. Nick is... doesn't skip chest day. Told everyone I was a lesbian. Oh. I guess that's not something you'd really want to lie about. It wouldn't be a lie. I love that. Just, just tell him. That's my girlfriend over there. <laughs> oh, yes. Darcy. We've mostly been keeping quiet. Yeah. <laughs> mostly. She, she couldn't wait to gush. Honestly, we feel like we don't need to keep it that quiet anymore. Tell them. We don't want to make a big announcement or anything, but... You want to hide it. Maybe just not hide so much. Yeah. That's cool. Don't, don't be in the shadows. I mean, I've only ever met one openly gay person before. Do you Who's know that? Charlie Spring? Yeah, I know of Charlie Spring. Mm-hmm. Are you friends? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we sit next to each other in form. <laughs> He's probably look, look at Tara. She's like, mm hmm Best friend right now. Tara knows. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Gotta go. Tara said, I've heard that before. We sit next to each other. We're just good friends. Tara said, that was me. <laughs> oh. Where you going? I'm just gonna go find Charlie. What that nerdy little year 10? <sighs> Do you just feel sorry for him because he's oh. gay? <laughs> oh, Harry. Do you think he has a crush on you? <laughs> oh, oh my, my god. god. How sad. Harry. Shut him down. That's homophobic, Harry. Yes, shut them down. <laughs> Come on, mate. Don't, don't, don't start for I really it. don't like you. Yes! Yes! Happy birthday. Come on! And that is why Dumbledore gave 10 points to Gryffindor for Neville because you have to stand up to those people. I just miss how things used to be with the four of us. But sometimes change is a good thing. Mm-hmm. Some of my friends said that they were going. Friends from pigs? Yeah. You made some friends. I got to say, said pigs. <laughs> I was really scared no one would like me, so. Mm. 
I didn't even try talking to people at first. Oh. But then I realised I actually needed to put myself out there or I'd just be alone. Yeah, you need to take a risk. So I think I'm going to be okay there. That's a good change, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a good change. Yes. Yes, Tao. He's going on his own journey of accepting change. Charlie. Oh. Is that Ben? I didn't even notice. I didn't even realize. Because <laughs> he's blocked. Okay. The way Nick cannot be without Charlie in the same place. It's wild because Charlie thinks he's so obsessed with him. He's so obsessed with Nick. Oh, leave me alone. Oh, come on. Do not touch me! Oh. I mean, you gotta be firm. Can we promise that, like, no matter what happens, we'll always prioritize our friendship? Hmm. No matter what changes, we always, always put our friendship first. Mm. Watch creepy documentaries, and we'll always stay up to watch the Oscars, and mm. we'll always be able to talk about deep stuff like this. Ah. Uh. Promise. Oh, Tao. Ah, uh, I really feel for him. I think he feels like he's being left behind, and he wants to make sure he can keep things together. I mean, the party's kind of lit. The party's bumping. Here we go. I can't dance. Imogen. She said, I don't care. <laughs> yes, show him those moves. Sorry, I have to go. <laughs> I was just looking for someone. No, stay with me. I want to hang out with you. Because you like, like him. Me? I really like you, Nick. Oh, tell him, Imogen. You didn't have to reply right now. I just wanted you to know. I need to find my friend. Imogen, I love that for you, but applications have been closed. Okay. We have selected the candidate. <laughs> but you're invited to, uh, you know, to share in the celebration. Yes, Darcy and Tara. Yes, yeah, see, Nick? Happiness. Oh. Uh... Yes. I said, and we're not hiding it anymore. And see, the world didn't end. Ah, uh, joy. <laughs> oh, Nick. He's looking at that liberation. He's feeling a little bit of it. What he could have. Hmm. Nick, go get yours. Go and get yours. Your year 11 friends are kind of intimidating. Oh. Mm. I don't know if I want to hang out with those guys anymore. I'd rather hang out with you anyway. Mm. So I just ran into Ben. I dealt with it. <laughs> I pushed him into a wall and told him to go away. <laughs> yeah. You said not today. I'm so proud. Shut up. It's kind of noisy in here, isn't it? And find somewhere else? Should we go somewhere quieter again? Okay. I mean, Charlie, are you not getting these vibes? Oh, you want to race me? Oh, God. Hmm. Yo, I am trying to keep it together. Here. Okay, time for truth telling. Mm -hmm. Do you like Tara? What? No, no, definitely not. So, so who do you like? Who so do you fancy you right now? Don't have a crush on Nora at the moment. Oh. Well. <laughs> Open ended. Say that. Yes. Yes. I love that. That's Sly from Charlie. <laughs> What's she like then? They? You're just gonna assume they're a she. Oh. <laughs> Are they not a girl? Um. Do it. Would you go out with someone who wasn't a girl? 
I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. She kissed someone. It wasn't a girl. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. <sighs> sparks. Let those sparks fly. Would you kiss me? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's so scary right now for him to just let go. Just free fall. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Hmm. There we go. Just like that. Oh. Wow. Round two. Well, that is a kiss. Yes. Oh. Hmm. Oh my God. It's a big deal. Everything. Oh. You okay? <laughs> I. Nick, you up here? Oh. I just want to talk, man. Of course. Of course. Here we go. Ruining the beautiful moment. But you won't. But you won't, Harry. Oh my God. If only you could bottle that up, Charlie, and just keep it with you forever. That moment. There's no need to start anything. Just because you're in a bad mood at my birthday. Party. Yeah. <laughs> so we're good? Yeah. Just gonna go find the loo. Mm. He's like, I, I am on the clock, okay? I need to go back and finish what I started. And I love that for Nick. I hope he's still there. <sighs> Please be there, Charlie. Charlie? <laughs> oh, Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> Charlie tonight is giving Cinderella vibes. He's always had it. Oh, it's hey. 10. It's 10 already, probably. Hey, you okay? Yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> Charlie. Okay. Okay, I got you. Okay. Oh. Everything's gonna be okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, my God. I mean, that, that was a moment, Charlie. You always have that, you know? Regardless of what happens from now on, you always have that moment, and it was just as magical as, as it could be, you know? And you had your privacy. I actually felt in that moment that I was encroaching on their privacy by watching the show. <laughs> Gay panic. No messages. Ah, does it feel like he crossed the line or he pushed him or... You know, maybe he feels like Nick will retreat after this because it was too much. Would you kiss me? No. Oh. That wasn't what happened. Charlie, can you get the door, please? Was that what happened? No. No. Yo, I hope not. Oh, oh, given the notebook vibes. Is that what happened? Did he just imagine him kissing him? I guess it would make sense with what actually, how he went, how he was crying, but I, I, I assumed he actually did kiss him. Oh, okay. Yo. Oh, <laughs> well, I mean, that's what we, we saw and that's what we, we enjoyed that moment. Even if it was maybe in Charlie's mind, but it was a really sweet moment. Oh my God. Damn, Charlie. <laughs> let's let's see what goes down in the next episode. Ooh. Um, I'm sorry for not texting you. I just wanted to talk in person. Okay. Ooh. Yo, this rain. Did you forget a coat? He ran here. 
Yeah, I didn't check the weather before I left. Idiot. <laughs> so, about last night, um... I just wanted to say Nick, that... Nick, I didn't know you are coming around. Oh, my God. This is Mom. Well, don't forget we're going to Grandma's this morning, Charlie. And you could have at least changed out of your pyjamas. Ooh. Now he's one dragging him. Let's go to my room. Yeah, let, let's do that. This is... It's too much here. <laughs> yeah, he looks like he's been crying though, Charlie. Like, like, crying, crying most of the night. Uh... Okay. So, I'm so sorry. It was a stupid thing to do and, and I don't want you to be awkward about it because it was all my fault. Charlie, hang on. I shouldn't have kissed you. Oh, okay, it did happen. Mm. I know you probably don't want to talk to me ever again, but I at least mm. have to say sorry. Ah. Uh. Maybe there's a chance we can still be friends? Charlie. I don't want to Charlie. use you because I did something stupid. Charlie. Let me tell you. Oh. <laughs> yes. He said, let's get one thing straight. I'm not. God. I'm so sorry. I, I was just freaking out because I... I was confused. You didn't know what to do with it. I'm having a proper full-on gay crisis. <laughs> it's not that I didn't want to, you know, uh, kiss you. I just, it's a lot. It's a lot. I've just been so, so confused. Mm. Talk to him. Tell him. I just think I need some time to figure this out. Mm. Oh, I think Nick needs needs someone on his side. You know, obviously he doesn't want to tell Charlie every single thing. You know, he's trying to, you know, protect what they have, and he's confused about it. He needs somebody on his side to to confide in. You know, mm. Charlie knows this feeling. Mm. Is it okay if we like keep this a secret? I just don't really know if I can, uh, hmm. you know. Yet. It's fine. Hmm. <laughs> That's a cute umbrella. Charlie's like, <laughs> I did it with Ben and here I am again. Okay. Ah. Charlie's like, that went so much better than I thought it would. I thought he's going to come here and tell me, how dare you kiss me? The notebook? Did I forget something? That you forgot this kiss? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, the paparazzi is right around the corner. You know they stay ready. Okay. Fine. Yes. <laughs> oh. Yo. The cold you're gonna catch after this experience, Nick? <laughs> you're gonna catch some cold. Hey! Something's different. What? Yeah. Something is different. I've known you since like year seven. I can tell when something's changed. Rogue, sit back. Don't worry, I'm a highly qualified hairstylist. Qualified from where? The University of Hairstylists. Wow. <laughs> I mean, her hair is pretty cool. It's giving me rogue. I've gotta go. I forgot I had morning detention. <laughs> <laughs> Morning detention. What did you do to get into that detention, Imogen? Uh, I'm scared that Imogen is gonna find out and she's gonna, you know, use that secret somehow. I don't know what she'll do, but I have the feeling she'll find out. So with, so with the Imogens, they always find out first. Okay, act normal. Act normal. Just a regular day. Nothing has changed. <laughs> That's what is going through his head. You know who's gonna find out immediately is his teacher, his Dumbledore. He's gonna find out immediately. Hi. Hi. Yes. <laughs> They're like our little secret. Yeah, and the paparazzi has it too, because they saw you outside. <laughs> what happened? Oh. oh. <laughs> is this? 
this how it's gonna be now? Am I officially the third wheel? The third wheel, I was gonna say. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll just get ready, because that is what it really is. It's the third wheel. There's a boy in there waiting for you. Oh. There's a boy! A secret boyfriend or the straight boy crush? He's on the rugby team. Mm. Oh. I joined the rugby team. Mm. Of course you did. <laughs> well. <laughs> I love him. I love that teacher. Dumbledore. Yes. You sure your friends don't mind you ditching them to eat lunch with me? Nah, they can deal with it. Clearly I need to be here to get tips on how to be good at rugby. Oh, really? So that's what this is actually all about then? Hmm. It was nice to be able to ditch my friends for once. All they want to do at lunch is just chuck stuff at people. Mainly Harry. He's an idiot. Harry. I used to come in here a lot last year, like when the bullying was really bad. Mr. Ajayi was the only teacher who really cared. Mm, Mr. Ajayi. I told him about the Ben making me keep us a secret thing. Mm. It, not rough. I mean, that's nothing like what we're doing. We're nothing like him. This is completely different. Oh, this secret. Yo, Harry, Harry. Harry's gonna be a problem, isn't he? Do it, Charlie. Oh! Come on, man! For the first time! Okay, pipe down. Just gonna stand there. Why are you even join the team? Right. Harry, you will pipe down. About the tackling, you've really got to commit to it, okay? Try not to worry about getting hurt and just throw yourself into it. Don't worry about getting hurt. It's all about confidence. Coach. And they all see me as a stereotypical gay boy who can't do sports. A lot of gay people are good at sports, Charlie. Right. You gotta, uh, you know, honestly, it's true. You gotta go fully go into it. And, um, but the whole thing about don't worry about getting injured. <laughs> good luck with that, coach. I will protect this body. What's he gonna do now? He's gonna practice on his own. I see Charlie being the MVP of this team. I'm just telling you right now. And once he lets that himself fully go, unstoppable. I can't wait. Just picture it as Harry. Yes. Just put Harry's face there. The one that has been blocking you, blocking your happiness, putting you down, talking nonsense about you. Push him down. Apparently they were kissing at Harry's party. There are 1,200 people at this school, so at least a few of them are going to be lesbians. Oh, here Maybe we go. You're a lesbian and you have no idea. <laughs> Come on, Luna Lovegood. The gossip is going around. Tara, oh. I need to talk to you. Oh, God. Oof. One here minute I hear you and Nick Nelson are a thing. The next I hear you're kissing some girl at Harry's party. Tara literally kisses her girlfriend at a crowded party. And people are still asking her if she's dating a guy. She kissed... <laughs> Once? <laughs> Three years ago. Three years ago. That is her girlfriend. That girl, I'm right here. All right, fine, I was just asking. Here we go. Like, just so you know, me and Nick are basically together. You and Nick Nelson are together. Imogen, the lies you tell. Look, we look cute together. <laughs> yeah, very cute. The lies you tell. Pinocchio is jealous, Imogen. You and Nick are definitely not. I'm a lesbian. Okay. <laughs> I'm not like homophobic. Oh. I'm an ally. It, uh, Congratulations. Where? We thank you for your service. <laughs> Imogen, if you don't take a seat right now, take several seats with this. You 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 thought you you ate. You thought you came in with your with your whole thing going on. He's been eating lunch with him a lot. Oh, they're in the honeymoon phase. It's not even like they're dating. Unless they are. <laughs> You know, Isaac really knows, knows what's up, I think. Charlie's putting himself in danger just because he has a little unrequited crush. Oi, cut! Oh, <laughs> oh. I knew, I knew this would happen. I knew this would happen. <laughs> I knew this would happen. <laughs> Confirming Tao's, um... Can I have the ball back? <laughs> Again, oh my... Oh... It's mine now. Oh, and they're watching. Nick, Nick, don't... Don't put up appearances. They're gonna want him to, to go back and take it. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. And that throw, let me tell you, that throw was not just for that for that occasion. That throw was for Charlie. He's like, you're coming to steal my friend. 
Oh, my God, I missed you. Oh, excuse me, where's our hug? I see you all the time. Oh, so this is Tara and Darcy? Yeah. Oh, Tara and Darcy came too. I'm mainly here to get acquainted with the local gays, but <laughs> you and Nick Nelson are looking suspiciously coupley. He's my friend. Well, friends as in friends or friends as in friends? Why? Are there, are there gay rumors? rumor mill. No, yeah. no, nothing but my gay intuition. <laughs> I told you that Tara and Darcy's gaydar are, are strong. Yo, I'm scared about this game. I really am. I don't know. I feel like there's just a perfect storm going on here. All the different ingredients. I'm literal adult men. Yeah. In a specialist sports school. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, God. I just realized, too, they are big boys. Good luck. That's the beginning of the problem. Oh. Be dominant. We have to show them who we are and what we're proud of. We're most what do we are now? Yo, it's not even... It's not even funny. They're in a different grade. You know, you know one thing? At least it's a good day. Does anyone remember the rules of rugby? Because <laughs> I don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 oh. Come on. Mm, where, are the, where are the spectators here? They're not that many, it's just a couple of people. Yo, I said it was a good day and before you know it, it's already raining. Now you know what comes with rain. Oh, Charlie. Oh my gosh. Get back up, Charlie. Charlie! I love that. They're cheering him on. Ooh. I mean, it's not a fair fight, so let's just call that one out. That number 14, yeah? We definitely had something for you, mate. A crush or something, mate. Next thing you know, Charlie will be bringing the whole rugby team to our film night to make us watch Avengers or something. <laughs> Is that your nightmare scenario? <laughs> now, don't you try it. Our friendship group is falling apart, El. Take this seriously. Hey. Tao, don't you try it with Avengers. Oh, Charlie got this. 35. And the rain is coming down. Yo, it's now down and dirty now. This is just slip and slide. Do it, Charlie. Get him down. Oh, oh. Charlie! Well, he went for it, though. He went for it. He broke his nose. Here we go. Here we go. Peanut gallery. If we, like, keep this a secret. Yo, stop it right now. Stop it this second. Okay, he's scared of going to him. He wants to go to him, but he can't. Oh. Uh, he wants to go and hold him, but he can't. Hey. Hey. He's like, where were you? Okay. All right. Come on. We're getting the reds. I'm really sorry for being all clingy and annoying. Mm. I'm making this so awkward. You wanted to give us a secret and I'm messing it up. No, you're not. I'm the one who should be saying sorry. For not being there. Hmm? Sorry. <laughs> Miss Singh told me to give you some antiseptic wipes. <laughs> I feel like that's the most that Isaac has spoken this whole show. But let me tell you right now, he has all the tea he needs. <laughs> Isaac said, I know what's going on. I better go. Isaac won't say anything. Yeah. Hmm. It's just getting more and more out of his grasp, you know, Nick. He's like trying to figure himself out and it's just, he just feels like there's just so much going on now around him and he's losing control. Maybe we should just stop getting involved. It's a good idea. I can't believe you just actually suggested that. <laughs> Tao Su, king of getting involved. <laughs> it was nice meeting your friends though. Yeah. They seem cool. Have they replaced us? As if anyone could replace your incredibly annoying, loud presence in my life. How dare you! <laughs> <laughs> I was just waiting to see Nick. Oh, finally ready to make a move. Here we go. Oh, hey. Hey! <sighs> Don't do it, Imogen. You did so good. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh. Wanted to ask you. Imogen, why here in public? Like, this is really random. <laughs> But maybe we could like... 
go out somewhere. Oh, oh Imogen. Like, I guess, oh. sort of a date. Oh, um... Oh, Imogen. <laughs> You're seeing someone else. Yeah. Oh. I guess so, sure. Oh, yes, that. Oh. Tara's gonna see that. God, listen, <laughs> I, I mean, that moment is incredibly difficult for Nick, you know, I, I mean, just out there in the open with everybody, you know, it's just so much um, for him to, to think about. He wasn't ready for that question in that moment. So how can he fully, you know, get everything together to react, you know, the way he wants to, which is to say, hey, there's someone else on my mind, you know, I'm sorry. Um, there's just such a fixation on everything going on. I mean, this whole these these two episodes you know really hone in on that this idea of um or the reality of uh high school and school as a place where uh, you know the magnifying glass is just there on everyone in every moment nick you know is in this team he's in the rugby team he, he has this group of friends um he's one of the you know the popular kids in school and everyone is looking at him what he's doing you know there's the, these there's um uh, uh rumors of him and tara from three years ago something that he's moved on from like you know that was never anything in the first place and people are still asking hey do you like this person you know you seem you seem like you did this so that means that and people are doing math with people's lives especially at a time where people's lives are so unpredictable in terms of how they what they like who they like what they're doing how they're feeling you know at, at that age they're still discovering who you are so things are changing very very quickly you know and so um you know that uh under the microscope effect for nick it must be really really tough for him to reconcile and uh figure out how he's feeling who he is um the road he wants to to go down and um and uh you know but also have his private you know life so that's just the real journey and i'm, I'm glad that they, they're exploring that here with this episode the first two episodes were you know a little bit more from charlie's perspective and now we're getting it from from nick's and i love that um but yeah it, it's, it's it's pretty it was pretty intense to see you know him go, go through all that but i like that he was he was you know he confided in charlie you know i like that their love for each other or their 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 affection for each other you know we'll say is um it's enough that he they want to be together they want to be around each other and he was willing to hey tell him you know say hey i um i have these feelings like i'm not you're not you're not you're not pushing me to do anything i i do feel this way and um that kiss that they shared i, I was <laughs> when when he cried and said and they showed the alternate you know answer from nick i was like oh no i hope it wasn't that he actually you know just dreamt that or thought that happened i'm happy that he did feel that and i do understand that i do understand how he felt you know um he felt like you know he went he came on too strong and he was you know pushed him to do something he didn't want to do and now he can't take it back and now their friendship will be ruined so that was what led to him you know feeling that way and you know charlie looked really like gaunt that morning like he looked like he was crying all night and i noticed that you know a little bit he just seemed a little bit deflated in general not like his usual self when he's, he's around nick um so that must have been a really rough night for him i do like that his dad was there for him saw that he saw immediately that he was he was having a moment um and was able to hug him and and and, and take care of him um i feel like the parents here are a little bit removed even the same thing with nick nick's mom and then here with charlie's parents the parents seem to be removed i think they're focusing on the kids and this is their story you know it's not about the parents but when they do show up and, and you know i'm really looking to see those moments where are they connecting with them are they noticing things about you know their kids and, and what's happening there because that really does go a long way so i'm really glad that he was able to have that moment with his dad and he tells me that they do have you know a good relationship at least so far but yeah it was nice to see them explore that it was a really sweet episode i was holding it together i was holding it together the whole episode like i was that whole moment of them you know nick seeing tara and um and uh darcy just just being free on the dance floor and just doing what they need to do and being there for each other and having their special moment and that's i love that framing i love how they showed that i i mean the acting was so good as well I and mean, can we just talk about you know the acting of these two charlie and nick the actors are doing such a good job with uh, relaying that internal struggle that they're both having with what's going on in their environment because it is 
complicated it's complex they're dealing with feelings that they don't under fully understand yet or know how to navigate yet on two different sides or spectrums you know and so um uh that moment there with nick looking at the dance floor and seeing what they were doing and the framing and everything uh, i thought it was just really done so well you could really feel the joy that he was experiencing in that moment and uh looking at how he could he could um he could uh you know get a taste of that you know be in that moment um uh, you know with charlie um so yeah it, it it's uh it was really sweet it really was i love that they finally got together I, I like that they didn't necessarily draw it out for them to actually have that moment together and 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 profess themselves uh, like how they they care about each each other i know they're going to be um there's there's going to be you know tough times ahead with this secret thing and, and it's kind of ironic or because you know charlie did just come from this he did just have this with ben where he was this secret you know person having to show up in the in the classroom whatever like you know and, and do all that and hide and now he has to do it with nick the difference obviously is he really cares for nick and he knows he, he knows that nick cares for him and that nick is going through you know there's some similarities to what to to ben but it's it's it's, it's a different you know um and uh, i love those moments of, of nick coming to you know take care of him to see how he's doing to, to see he fell he's injured he's in the, in the sick bay coming to see him and and you know wipe his face and all of that stuff and i think that really goes a long way you know charlie needs that constant reassurance from from him because again and the main reason is is not because charlie's saying oh i'm too needy i'm always coming up on you and trying to you know and honestly what, what what it really means is nick is in this rugby team nick you know he didn't even know he was gay like um charlie didn't even know that he was gay in the first place you know he felt like he was the one encroaching upon him and all of that and so he's constantly feeling like he's the one pushing Nick and he's the one oh I'm the gay one pushing you versus okay you want to be here as well but it's complicated so I like that they had that conversation and um Nick was able to say hey no it's just that things are just it's just confusing right now but it's my own internal struggle but not you doing it to me it's just me discovering who I am um and thankfully it's happening because it can only get better from there right the the uh the whole thing with imogen and her coming in obviously classic storyline of the girl um i think you know obviously the, the the thing there is as much as we are happy on imogen and like you know and you know we're having fun and all that kind of stuff you know we also need to you know imogen's feelings need need to be protected as well because you know on her own side she's just in love with nick or she 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 really likes nick i'm always using a lot <laughs> she really likes Nick, um, but she doesn't know what's going on. She just sees someone that she fancies. And um, at the end of the day, Nick is going to have to navigate that, you know, carefully just to make sure that he's not, you know, you know, without intentionally doing it, maybe hurting somebody else's feelings or leaning them on. You know, you have to eventually find a way to have that balance and say, hey, uh, this is confusing and I don't want to let you down. But I have to let you down. I have to tell you that, hey, I'm not interested. You know, if you're really not, um, um, I, and I guess it, it, it's it's to me, anyways, it's not a case of him liking her and also still liking. It's not like a triangle in that sense. It's more like a, he doesn't really care, and she's just the one coming on to him. So there has to be some sort of communication there, unless it's going to get to a place where I think Imogen is going to feel very hurt and maybe try to snoop or try to see what's going on or maybe have these have these uh you know create this narrative in her mind and then it's just going to go downhill from there so that's something that just needs to be watched tao and uh and l i love their relationship i love that they are the the truth tellers i love that i love their perspective on the show and what's going on on the drama in the school um uh, you know they're like our narrators in a sense uh, or our, our asides you know just kind of speaking out what's going on and um i love their their relationship as well i love that they, they keep on exploring that um i really felt for tal this episode and you we saw you know a progression of what happened in the first couple of episodes the first two episodes with him you know you know really trying to in on one end protect charlie and and you know protect their friend group and, and what one what they have because i think that's his fear his fear is that they're all just going to go off and find other people and find other things you know he lost l you know in a sense you know, l was in that school and then she moved to a different school they're just not going to have the same amount, amount of time that they always had and um so he has he's dealing with that and then now he's dealing with charlie finding you know somebody else and it, i think regardless it would be 
it would be something you know it would be a lot but is somebody on the rugby team and somebody he feels like are uh the antithesis of, of their group and, and and what they stand for and, and people who are seen as like the bullies of the school and so he just feels like charlie what are you doing there you're only going to get hurt and also you're just taking up away time from the time that we have so you know you really see that there with with uh with, with with Tao and that conversation with L on the bed when we were talking uh, about like promise that we'll still keep talking, still keep doing what we're doing, ne never you know um, you know lose what we have. It sort of reminded me in such a way. Spoiler alert! But I'm talking about Stranger Things. Uh, if you watch Stranger Things, I was thinking about Will and him with his friends and and the whole idea um, of just like you know that fear of of growing up or things changing. You know we always have that fear. Um, people leaving, doing what they need to do, everyone going off. And and then you're just kind of left alone or you don't have you feel like you don't have enough to hold on to um i and uh that's what that's what his struggle is now and, and i really do feel for me it's very relatable what he's going through um i do think that though that Tao needs to get to know nick like he just needs to get to know him I, I don't think he knows him at all the way charlie does he just he's just this person you know on the rugby team that charlie likes and so charlie has to find a way to bridge that gap they, they need to all go for a movie night together i think that's what i would think and i know charlie charlie says i mean uh Tal says uh, they're gonna come and watch the uh avengers now don't try with the avengers uh Tal. <laughs> but I think they do need that, you know, watch whatever, but just like have a moment where they all are together so that Tal can see that Charlie's not like Harry, he's not like one of the other guys on the team. And he is really a kind soul. And, and you know, he's, we saw that with the, with the football, with, with, with him not throwing it back to him or not trying to stand him up or show that he is, you know, one of the rugby team people. He just, you know, accepted it and, and, and went away. So I hope that, that that ends up happening so that Tao can really appreciate him for who he is and um, I think understand Charlie better because I think it is causing a little bit of a rift in, 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 in the group, you know? We got a little, you know, we got a, a little tiny little moment there from Isaac, you know, uh, he got a little, <laughs> a little um, scene there. I, I, I want to hear more from, uh, from him. I think he's an interesting character already. I think he, he spots things and he, he made a, a comment with the episode. I forget what it was, but you you can tell that he's intuitive as well and so so is l and i like these intuitive characters and and um uh, the things that they point out so i, I hope there, there's more there for us um to to see from isaac uh, yeah that kiss that kiss they shared in, in the um in the previous episode oh my god i couldn't even speak during that moment because it was so special again I, I i did feel like oh my god i want you to have your private moment um it was so special i thought it was so well done so well shot i liked that it was a private moment that they had of course someone was going to come in that was someone was going to break up that moment but i i like that they they sat in the moment for just a little bit and were able to explore that and and you know that that's that was their first kiss together right that's always going to be the first and that's always going to be that special connection they have so you know it is a big moment for for both of them and um uh, i thought it was really done well i thought um the characters showed that well and um yeah it was it was really beautiful for sure Oh, this show! I have to say, I was keeping it together. This show. I mean, I, I, obviously, I'm I'm going through it and I'm having the emotions of it. But there were a couple of moments, that party especially, um, that it was just I was just like, ho oh, oh. <laughs> yo, this show! What are you gonna do to me? I made a promise, okay? First episode, and I will keep that. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh my god, so, so good, so good. Um, I'm, I'm loving this show. It's, it's been, it's been a really good time. Yeah, but I, I know that they're, they're gonna, they're gonna get us with something soon. I know it. Oh. <sighs> well, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next episode.